In a lot of ways, point spreads were invented for games like this. We pretty much know who's going to win, we think. But a point spread of over four touchdowns and a lot of old-school betting angles and tactics make this game compelling from a betting perspective. So let's take a look. We've got the second-ranked team in the country, Oregon, laying 28-and-a-half at Purdue over under of 60. Of course, the Ducks coming off that dramatic win over Ohio State, top five matchup at Autzen Stadium, came down to the final seconds, and the Ducks survive. Now they got to go to Purdue, a team that has looked terrible all year. Remember how Notre Dame just beat them down like no other. However, last week, new quarterback Hudson Card injured. Ryan Brown comes in, and they had a miracle second half, nearly won the game in overtime. So what do we make of this? Is it a letdown spot for Oregon? Is this Purdue team now performing at a higher level than the power rating from the stats from the entire season because of the quarterback change? It's a hard reset. Just looking at some of the articles and reading some of the quotes, it gives them sort of a, a wipe the slate clean. They're one in five now straight up. They're one in four going into last week's game with Illinois, and they maybe have like, you know, new life. And keep in mind, that for what it's worth, these spoiler makers have taken down Number one and number two ranked teams over the years. Just something to keep in mind. We saw Alabama lose to Vanderbilt. So similar spread, 23. So this one's 28 and a half. I think Oregon's going to hang, but they're only one in four against the spread as a favorite. They've played down to their competition. I lean to Purdue here. I think Ryan Brown can make some plays with legs. I think the Ducks are pretty disinterested, but the talent gap is there. I wouldn't get too involved, but it is an interesting game once you add the point spread element.